Hello, Cosplay World! We are back, and we're gonna go over Garnet's classes here. These were made for my wife. Uh, these were sized for her, so the specific um, the specific sizes are in the extended version. Uh, you can check that at FinalCosplay.com, but uh, essentially they're about 7 inches wide, 3 inf inches tall, with uh, square tips and you can size them to your relative head. You don't want to make them nearly, uh, maybe you don't want to make them nearly as big because they won't fit you in general. At any rate, uh, you can buy, I want to mention this, you can buy these plastics, these acrylics, in various colors if you're making some color, other kind of visor or glasses or things like that. So I have done that before. I have used it for lenses, uh, for Homestuck glasses and things like that. Uh, but for what we're doing, we have two different colors, so the tint is going to be a good option uh, and make that a lot easier to do. This uh, plastic you can buy at a craft store uh, as a kind of protective coating for um, for pictures, for picture frames. You want to get the heavier ones, the thinner film obviously won't hold the shape. Uh, and if you're going to go full acrylic, um, there's, a, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of plastics, right? I'm not going to go in every single one because they're a bunch of letters. It'd be alphabet soup here. Uh, but if you want to go to your home improvement store, you can get heavier acrylic. I don't recommend you go for like a full cord range because that's a lot of plastic. But maybe you can get away with two millimeters, one millimeter. They might, they might have one millimeter thick. And that'll make for more stable glasses than these. Uh, in fact, I think the ones that my wife stuck with were about two millimeter thick so they're a little bit uh, heavier than these ones I made a few sets for my wife here uh, and if you're wondering why the glasses go foggy it's just because it's old and this the film that I have to protect the surface is just uh, marred up a bit and that's what it's kind of for oh, so what I mentioned earlier about the two different colors yeah the sides are actually a bit more red than pink and so we got a bit of red tint and we're going to be adding that to the side sections. The mirrored effect is simply uh, a tint that is a one-way mirror tint. So you can see out of it. You can totally see out of these and walk around and use them. They're totally, they don't obscure your vision in any way. They just make it, you know, pink. Um, and then we're going to put the pink film on the front. So on the back we have white, sorry, we have red and then the silver and then the front we got the pink and that's how they're done. Be sure to take your time when uh, adhering the film because bubbles and creases and imperfections are extremely noticeable. Uh, the bubbles catch the light, the creases uh, um, obviously will deform the it, it's all, it's, it's not pretty. So this is one of the projects that you absolutely want to take your time when you're doing it. Um, because you'll see them in your face. There'll be bubbles and there'll be creases like in front of your face as you're doing them. Um, uh, also, the tint is kind of expensive-ish. I think they're about $16 for heat, so uh, do be careful with that. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing another Steven, Year's pro Steven Universe project. Uh, that is the puppet. I hope you guys check that out. I hope you guys enjoy. Good times to all. Bruh! Hey. Over at FinalCosmicCore.com, we have a ton more cosplay awesomeness. You should check it out. Wah! 